So here goes part two. But part two is only for a certain crowd. Part two is for the men who don't want to grow up and the men who don't want to work a nine to five. All right. This, that's who part two is for because I got pushback. But I got pushback from, from those people, from those clowns, those losers who want to sit and watch two grown men clown, joke, kiki, and ha ha about a rigged sport. Two grown men that were in the rap industry for a dec for, for more over a decade. If you want to start with Cameron, who influenced my generation to drink scissor, walk around with their pants hanging off their ass, smoke weed all day, and toting guns. You want to talk about Mace being around Diddy, shucking and driving in shiny suits, talking about it's all about about all about the money, all about the cars and riches, and you get robbed for all your money, and you bent over for Diddy. Then you want to go turn pastor. Now you rocking cowboy hats and Balenciaga. Make it make sense. See, you dudes want to support two men that are just losers, and that have nothing better to do with their lives, but to talk about rigged rigged sports. I told y'all sports are rigged, man. If you don't believe me, go do your research. See, a lot of you dudes want to talk without doing research. Y'all want to say, I didn't do my research just because I said Cam was signed to Diddy. Okay, don't debunk the whole video because of me wording something wrong. You're going to debunk the whole video? Come on, man. Y'all got to grow up, for real, for real. Because at the end of the day, Diddy is a gatekeeper of New York rappers that go mainstream. Jay-Z is a gatekeeper of New York rappers that go mainstream. Yo Gotti is a gatekeeper in Memphis. There are gatekeepers everywhere. Okay? So, don't think that Cameron didn't have to go through Diddy or Jay-Z or look up their nuts and balls for approval to get into the game. Don't think that Cameron and Mace didn't accept either publishing or some type of deal to help their rap career. These dudes don't want to do it on their own. You want to support dudes that want to accept handouts. Those dudes accepting handouts for them to get into the rap game and the rap industry. And I checked out a, I checked out a couple people that uh, left comments defending those two idiots. I checked the comments. And of course, already I found two of them that don't even have close to a thousand subscribers, but they have videos reacting to It, it Is What It Is podcast, reacting to Cameron and Mace podcast. First dude I found. He has a short with him reacting to a clip from them. See, you would never find that on my channel. You dudes have to borrow other content to make content. Me, I come up here and I give you the real. I, I talk based on my experiences and what I know for a fact. I don't come up here just talking, gossiping. See, a lot of these dudes, their channel will never grow because of copyright issues. You want to steal somebody else's content to make your own content. That's not authentic. That's not original. But you want to come up here and try to bash me. You look and you sound stupid. You look and you sound real, real stupid. See, we didn't have referees. We didn't have referees. There were referees in, in, in basketball for years come out and say that it's rigged. We didn't have Tom Brady have his son kiss him on the mouth more than once to get help with his fantasy draft. We don't see what happened with the Seahawks, what Russell Wilson did when they were supposed to win, what he did instead. If you don't think games are rigged, there is something mentally wrong with you. No, but you dudes are followers. You're followers and you don't want to grow up. You're immature. You're extremely immature. Y'all act like that podcast with Cameron Mace is just talking about sports. No, it's not. Clowning around. I done, I done seen clips where fucking... There was a chick twerking on the table and Cameron was throwing money at her. So you want to say that that's all about sports? Entertainment? See, you black dudes just want to be entertained. Y'all don't never want to grow up. Y'all don't ever want to grow up. And then I had comments where people told him, yeah, his fights are boring. Steven Schur fights are boring. You don't have more money than him. You don't own your own home. I own my own home. You know how I got it? Working a nine to five. Getting my credit right. Stacking my crumbs. That's how I got a house. I didn't get a house by handouts. I didn't have to go and I didn't go and beg people say, "Oh, can I get can I borrow some money? I'm trying to get this house. I need help. Can you help me out with my mortgage this month?" 
See, a lot of you dudes that are defending those dudes, you have YouTube channels too. But you're the type that will get these brand deals for Tej Hanley. Y'all will promote Tej Hanley and promote stuff that you don't even take. Or promote stuff with harmful ingredients. I'm not accepting no endorsements. I'm not taking no handouts. I'm staying 10 toes down, standing on business by myself. This channel is based on what you're getting right now in this video and then some of my sneaker content. And for my people that are watching that, uh, subscribe because of my sneaker content, don't worry, I got you. Jordan Brand is re-releasing a lot of sneakers that I already have and I will be doubling up for comparisons. Because leather materials are different. The feel on the inside is different. Stuff is going to be different. So those are going to be great videos. Those com These compare upcoming comparison videos are going to be great. We got Black Cement 3s, Cool Gray 9s, Flu Games. Next year we got, what, White Cement 4s. A lot of stuff I already have. But let's get, let's get back to it. Yeah, man. A, a lot of these dudes don't want to grow up, man. A lot of these dudes want it easy. They want to scam. Don't take my kindness for weakness, man. I do a lot of these videos to try to give game and help dudes out, but if dudes want to jump in my comment section and give pushback and defend two clowns like this, this is what you're going to get. This is the type of me you're going to get. And this is clearly what they want. Like I said, man, you dudes don't want to grow up. They could be using that platform to be giving young dudes game. They could be using that platform to talk about how rigged sports are. No, but instead they want to they want to clown people. Oh, your fights are boring. Oh, Bronny James, he only scored four points. Oh, this, that, this, that, this. How is that helping anybody? That's my main thing. How is their channel helping anybody? You dudes just want to be entertained all day. I got a lot of comments saying, oh, they're entertainment. It's entertainment just like what you're doing. No, I'm not doing entertainment here. I'm giving game. I'm giving game to the black men who want to be something, who want to get somewhere in life, who want to own something. That's what I'm doing on this channel. I'm not into what videos do I do to entertain? If you find any of my videos entertaining, then you're a clown. Now, if you want to say the sneaker content, that's fine. If you want to talk about sneaker content, but videos like these, videos where I talk about dating and giving men help, relationships, that's there's no entertainment there. There's no entertainment there. I take life serious. Life is a war right now. We are at war. We are living in the in the last times for sure, for sure. This is the year of exposure. Satan is running wild. Check out that Justin Timberlake video. You ain't see that Justin Timberlake video? Come on, man. They doing this shit right in front of our faces. Nasty. Nasty work in this nasty world. And Cameron and Mace are adding to it with their nasty work. One of the clips, uh, one of the dudes had a nerve to uh, try to defend him. He had a clip on his page from the Is What It Is podcast. Some basketball player and a BBL popped up on the dude. Y'all call that entertainment? These dudes are putting BBL on gr BBLs on grown men. And you think that shit is funny? That shit is sus. If you think Cameron and Mace don't know that sports are rigged, there is something wrong with you. You are slow. But I got to realize, man, certain people you just can't help. You just can't help the stupid. They want to st stay stupid forever. If you didn't agree with anything at all in this video, you have to agree with this one point. That we are living in serious times right now and not everything is a joke. Not everything is for play play. And when we're talking about rigged sports that aren't even taken seriously, how could I take somebody that watches their podcast serious? The more you clowns that keep giving pushback on, on my videos, Hide user, hide user. The comments I got, oh, cameras never signed a Diddy. You need to know what you're talking about. Hide user. And if you don't know what hide user means, it means you and your comments are removed from my channel. I don't need people like you on my channel. And it's not because you don't agree. It's because you're, you're a loser who doesn't want to grow up, who don't want to work a nine to five, who's creating YouTube videos, stealing other people's comments. That's why I hide user. You don't take your life serious. So why should I take you serious? Why would I want you on my channel? That video got over 400 views and only 10 likes. So that means majority of the people that watched it defend Cameron and Mace. Defend two ex-rappers that sold their soul for money and fame and that are still up here taking life as a joke.
That's all I got to say, man. I'm done with y'all for now.